Now, billionaires have many obsessions. Supercars, ice baths, exotic animals, you name it, and billionaires usually have it. But off late, they seem to have a new obsession. Bunkers. The top 1% are building bunkers. Mark Zuckerberg is constructing one in Hawaii, and it's worth $270 million, $270 million. It's almost like a status symbol now. But why do the super rich need bunkers? Are they trying to survive a war? Maybe another pandemic? Or an apocalypse? Do they know something that we do not? Our next report tells you. Blast-resistant doors, equipped with its own food and energy supplies. This is a 5,000-square-foot shelter located underground in Hawaii. The price tag of the project is $270 million. If you want to survive an apocalypse, this is the place to be. Who does this belong to? Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg. The billionaire is building a bunker. And he isn't the only one. Former PayPal CEO Peter Thiel tried to build one in New Zealand. Bill Gates has plenty of underground security areas, apparently one under each of his homes. Of course, these are the higher-end ones, but you could get yourself a basic one for $500,000. It's almost like buying an expensive car. And for billionaires, it's a good way to use some loose change. But where are they building them? Apparently, all over the world. But a popular choice seems to be New Zealand. It's attributed to its secluded location, which brings us to the boom in the companies building these survival shelters. Some of them are just basic shelters. They are underground, they have all the essentials, you can survive there for a few weeks. But a handful of them go a step further. Like this one project that includes an island fortress. This is not just a bunker. The entire island is like a fort, with an inflammable moat. Basically, if you try to step foot on the island, it will burn down. But you will be perfectly safe inside the underground bunker. Sounds perfect for a zombie apocalypse. But why are the super-rich building bunkers? What are they so scared of? In the last five years, the world has survived a lot. A global pandemic, two wars, climate change. Some of these bunkers have registered nurses. A collection of drugs, decontamination booths, medical supplies... One even has a full-fledged operating table. Basically, you can survive anything in there. It's almost like modern-day Noah's Ark. If you are in the bunker, you are likely to survive almost all catastrophes. But it's not for everyone. It's only for the chosen few. And here, Noah is not making the choice. The world's super-rich are making it for themselves. But beneath all these underground bunkers lies a dark truth. It's that death is truly the great equalizer. And the super-rich, just like us, fear it too. They cannot buy their way out of it, even with these underground bunkers and fortresses. But that hasn't stopped them from trying.